But first, as far as movies go, Borat's had more hype behind it than Snakes on a Plane. And while Borat looks to be superior in every way, David Farrier wanted to see the hype machine firsthand. He is my neighbour, Nur Sultan Tuliakbai. He is barely my assholes. I get a window from a glass, he must get a window from a glass. I get a step, he must get a step. I get a clock radio, he cannot afford. Great success. When given the chance to meet Borat, I certainly wasn't going to say no, so I flew across the Tasman Sea to cover Borat's trip to Australia. But first, like any good story, it was time for a quick piece to camera. I'm here in Sydney to experience a press conference, Kazakhstan style. With that complete, I greeted Borat on his arrival and quickly learned it wasn't really Kazakhstan style at all. This was a mob, and unlike in the movie, everyone here was in on the joke. And things got so feral, nobody really noticed Kanye West floating around in the crowd. The actual press conference was a tightly run affair. We had to stand and then sit down straight away while somebody else would read out your question. Question this time from David Farrier from Nightline TV3 New Zealand. Hey David. Yes. He says that in New You're Zealand... Concerned. Standing was frowned upon and it really annoyed the other 20 news crews. I make the jokes now. But our eyes met and he was happy to compare Kazakhstan's farming to New Zealand's. Our number one crop is human pubis. Uh, Kazakh pubes, I must tell you, is the finest in the whole of Central Asia. It is very good for cleaning pots and pans. Twenty questions later and Borat departed, only to appear later that night on the red carpet. After I squeezed in, an even shorter piece to camera. Here I am on the red carpet. He remembered me from the press conference earlier. Do you have any message for New Zealand? I do. It took me by surprise, but it was a good surprise, and he came back to talk some more. Do you have any message for New Zealand who are still waiting for your film to come out? Uh, yes, I would like very much come to New Zealand to visit this minor nation. I hear you are very much like a Kazakhstan now. Uh, we too have democracy like you, except in our country, instead of man with most votes who win, it is a man who can carry a woman against her will for longest time. And I left the most important question for last. Do you have any tan lines from your swimwear? What do I mean a tan lines? To make a tan. In Kazakhstan we do not make a tan. Instead of this uh, we put a color chocolate on our faces. There is a man called Gogol the Clown who dressed like this as if he is Louis Armstrong. He come on the six o'clock news every day and make a different sexy time position. His most famous is the dog. Where I don't want like complaints, so we'll stop like there. This. Thank you, Borek. You're welcome to New Zealand any time. Yeah, so thank you very much. David Farrier, Sydney, 3 News.